What up, what up, y'all? This is Chris Rivers, Dragons Up, of course, and I want to give a big shout to the homies at allhiphop.com, where it's hip-hop always. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll yeah, get there. yeah, definitely, definitely. Yo, what up, everybody? It's Jigsaw, allhiphop.com, here with Chris Rivers. What's yes, good yes. with you? Oh, man, feeling amazing. Right. Thank you for having me, brother. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, you, you know you got the world. Yeah. The whole world is talking, mm -hmm. and... You, as you already, as we've already established, I'm a huge Big Pun fan, of fan of yours too, Much love, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But I'm getting all these questions from people. They want to know what's going on with you. Right. This video you you released. Talk to people about it a little bit. Right. And the song is not actually that new. No, it's not. Right. No, it's not. It's all, it's all for uh, my DeLorean project. It came out a few months back. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the song's called Fear of My Crown. We just right. uh, we just released the video. It's, uh, yeah, it went viral. Got over 10 million hits. Yeah. Um, you know, the, uh, the there's, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of controversy yeah. around absolutely, it. Um, absolutely, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, first and foremost, I want to say, like, my, my intentions behind the song, like, as I do with most things, like, the people follow me for years now on social media, on various platforms. I always preach positivity, self-love, right. awareness, things like that. And I always speak from a, from a personal place uh, and my own experience so I could give people the ability to grow from it like I have you know what I'm saying right. like, so in the same breath uh, you know I released a song the song was about domestic violence and mm -hmm. abuse and not a lot of people talk about domestic violence you know it's it's, it's a really big thing like um, you know even, even research like I said over 10 million people a year go to domestic violence with a, with a personal partner one in four women you yeah. know one in seven men and that's not even including the children like there's so many people walking around traumatized by it, personal friends everything so I was like yo this is something that I've uh, not only been through but um, overcame and I want to you know, use my platform and my music and my voice mm -hmm. to try to, you know, help, you know, empower the, give voice to the voiceless to give power to the oppressed, like, yeah. so it was on that context, so, you know, um, and moving forward, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, didn't see the exact message there, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. like, this is for, and a lot of people did, I'm getting thousands, I mean, thousands of messages, bro, yeah. people, like, coming, like, yo, thank you for doing this, yeah. telling me their whole life story, telling me everything they've been through and how this has given them uh, the courage to, to speak up and to yeah. face it, because ultimately, you have to face this in order to, yeah. to get through it, you know what I'm saying, you right. can't repress it, so, um, but a lot of people are, you know, uh, demonizing my father mm -hmm. for, you know, targeting him, and it's just like, it's one of those things, man, that it's like, uh, you know, to, to specify, because a lot of people didn't really understand, the, the lyrics came from a true place. The lyrics are, 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 are my story. The lyrics are, are from the perspective that I had while I was going through it, mm -hmm. and, um, and and that perspective itself. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, as a, as a kid, uh, remembering, like, how it felt to go through these things and, and how I felt about it, like, mm -hmm. that that was the perspective that I wrote from. The video itself, though, it's not it's not a portrayal of my life or my mother or my father. It's just a, a portrayal of abuse and a cycle of abuse. The kid, right. the kid was abused as a child, yeah. grew up and became abused, you know, right. stuff like that. So, um, you know what I'm saying? So, it's it's really one of those things where um people are and I, and I get what people are, are you know they I guess they a lot of people don't really know I mean you're a punk fan so you probably seen way back there's been VH1 documentaries yeah. various uh, people talking about it on m many platforms it's not new information that we grew up in a domestic violence home it's not yeah. it's not new mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying a lot of people think I'm just like just shouting, oh, why he's coming? I'm like, it's not, it's not new, guys. This has been mm -hmm. out for a while, and I didn't even. Uh, my intentions weren't even to shout it, like to bring more light to that specifically. It was more right. so just domestic violence thing. So, I mean, it's it's definitely doing what. Uh, what, what we would hope in the terms that it's helping people, you uh -huh. know what I'm saying? But it's definitely, you know, to bring clarity to, to the fact that uh, my father was more than just a, a rapper, you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? Like, and, um, and, and it sucks because people uh, tend to idolize him, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? And bring him to a place where uh, they see this this perspective that they built up on him that's incomplete and a bit false and they want to fortify that perspective or hold on to it when they never really gave the, the effort to get to know the real him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I know the real him. I know his flaws. I know his perfection. I know his angels, his demons, what he's been through, why he did things. And I know his greatness and all the great things he did as well. Yeah. And being being the person and one of the children that, that he had that went through the domestic violence, that seen the things happening to my mother and seen all this stuff, like I've grown to love and forgive him for every single thing mm -hmm. and still love him and, and even respect him more as a man that that he he's humanized to me you know what i'm saying yeah. he's a human he, he he had his demons he grew up being abused you know what i'm yeah. saying himself you know what i'm saying yeah. the cycle he grew up being abused he had to he had to sell crack on the block he had to get go through a to z and his life was 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 a uh, was mayhem in itself so he had all these problems and a lot of people don't even focus on the abuser themselves you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like these people need help as well mm -hmm. and he needed help he said he he dealt with it by eating and that was the you know the death mm -hmm. of him you know what i'm saying and all these things that he's went through and it's just like yo like i accept 
the entire spectrum of who my yeah. father was and grew to love him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? These people are finding out about a piece of him that they too that that they they didn't research enough about to know about, mm -hmm. and now they demonize him. But it's like, yo, if you love him, then you should love him entirely for who he is, yeah. and not not just the parts that you idolize. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's why I'm mad with it. And it's just like, you know, I want people to really get the true message of it. Like, yo, this is about bringing power to these people that walk around every day traumatized for what they've been through, and mm -hmm. try to be a voice for them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and and don't don't shame these people. Like, just yeah. try to empower everyone. You know? How do you feel in this climate? Because, you know, we're in a social media era. Yeah. We're in a era of extreme judgment. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, everyone's offended all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually check, before I post something on Facebook, I'll sometimes... I'll you say, got a PC that bad boy. I'll touch base with some correct. people. I'll be like, yo, <laughs> what do you think of this before I post it? Right, 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 right. <laughs> Being so politically correct yeah. all the time, yeah. But you mentioned one thing, that he was abused. Yeah. Um... You know, did he talk about that, or was there any, uh, did any of that come out when you were growing up with him? No, nah, like, he passed when I was six, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, uh, we didn't, I, I didn't get the, the pleasure and the honor to have, like, deep, extensive conversations yeah, about him. Like, I, I got to know a lot of my father, like, um, like after his passing, like, through his music and mm -hmm. through, like, and I knew him personally, like, growing up, like, I have memories, like, certain pranks, and, uh, and, yeah. and, and it's, um, it's not, uh, uh, it sucks because it's not, too much stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I, I right. remember, I remember, um, I remember like spans, like certain events, certain certain places that we went through, certain yeah. things that we've been through, certain things that yeah. he did to us and made us do certain things that was hilarious and fun, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like and being in a studio for times, but we never really got to sat down and uh and really speak about it. Like um, my my mind state. A lot of people tell me I'm like him in the sense of like how my mind works. So like hearing um learning more about him and his, um and his past and mm -hmm. and learning about like and hearing his uh his words and hearing like what what he wrote and certain moments and certain songs mm -hmm. and, and to understand like you know as a writer as well mm -hmm. to see how he was trying to express himself through it you know what yeah. I'm saying like you certain songs you could feel his turmoil and his yeah. demons you know what I'm yeah, saying absolutely. Really, you know what I'm saying and, and, and it's definitely so I never got the opportunity to really speak about it uh, with him, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, um, I've gotten I've gotten the opportunity to speak to people that knew him and uh -huh. things like that, family members, yeah. and and to, and to know that he he had to do a lot of things and he had to he had to fend for himself at a young age, and it was yeah. it was just it, you know it's sad to know that that these things happen and he um he chose the route that he chose, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like and um it, it made him into into who he was, a stronger person. Uh, but it's definitely stuff that he he dealt with, and you know what I'm saying you can see it like you know a lot of people use different things as uh, vices and food was his vice and right. certain things that even just uh, just like feeling like you gotta hold someone like really tight and or they or they or they leave you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. feeling like that abandonment stuff, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So like so he gripped people in his life to right. make sure, you know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. so many of those little nuances that you see like it all stemmed from that from that place when he was a child when he right. was being abused and neglected and all this stuff mm -hmm. and it's just it's just crazy to to analyze that and to and to learn from his experiences because like I don't want to grow up and become still hurt. I gotta forgive it. I gotta yeah. get past it and it's important. A lot of people don't believe in forgiveness. I spoke on a panel and I was in front of like about three hundred girls and yeah. I, I casually I mentioned pun, like I casually like I would say I would say it was casual. Yeah. And I men <laughs> I mentioned forgiveness and yeah, I was yeah. like and then um a friend of mine, I'm not gonna give no de any detail, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she jumped she kinda jumped on me because a, a human female. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And it wasn't a it wasn't a negative thing. It was just a check, like yo. And I was kind of clear. I was like, you know, forgiveness is about you because it's not about the other person. Right. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Because ultimately, like when when you hold on to something, like for instance, like my father's dead. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like me not forgiving him or forgiving him is not gonna do anything for him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're spiritual, you know what I'm saying? If there's, like, I'm sure he would want us to forget. You know what I'm saying? That. But ultimately, it's one of those things. It's like when you can't face. The person who you know what I'm saying, or, or, or even like in, in life, like I've gotten jumped, I've gotten uh, you know, so you gotta, you can't, you not only have to forgive people, mm -hmm. but you also have to forgive the situation, you have to forgive the world, you have to forgive yourself, yeah. and it's important because you you holding on to these to these demons and these angers, they're mm -hmm. only gonna eat you alive. Yeah, so it's, yeah. and, and when I say forgiveness, I don't want people to feel like that means it's, it, you're not justifying what happened, Absolutely. and you're not saying that it's okay, but you're saying that it, it's okay to, to not be affected by it anymore. Yeah. It's okay to not let an event or another person or, or a situation have power over you to ruin your life while it's not happening anymore. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's very important. I preach forgiveness all the time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I preach you know, self-love, happiness. Love yourself enough to forgive yourself mm -hmm. and to move forward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and, and it's big, man. It's big. Yeah. But it's hard when you speak to It is hard. Especially coming from a male speaking to females. Absolutely. 
absolutely, through it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and you know, when, when you haven't been through it yourself, or if, even if you have a different, it's it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I've dealt with, uh, I've spoken to rape victims. And yeah, spoken yeah. To these people, and and it's really hard to tell tell someone crying that's been through getting raped or sexually uh-huh. assaulted or something like that yeah. to say, yo, forgive. Like, how absolutely. do you? Absolutely. How do you? You know, but and you can't. And I'm not. And I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. Like for me, it's. I, I have people that I have not forgiven, you know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah, you know. And so I'm not even like preaching any of. I'm like right. part of me wants to say. Okay, part of me wants to be honest and be like, yo, I, I forgave that person. Yeah, 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 you know, you know what it is. It, uh, honesty is 100 percent because I tell yeah. people like, yo, there's still things that I'm learning how to forgive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I could concisely say that the things that I have truly forgiven brought yeah. me so much peace yeah. in those areas. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. could say that I that like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I had a lot of turmoil inside of me. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of self, like e- even for myself, self hate and so that. And mm-hmm. when you forgive certain things, it brings so much like weight. Yeah. Off of the situation, so mm-hmm. I'm not saying I forgave every single. There's very few things in my life that I'm still just like I gotta, you yeah. know what I'm saying. But but I but I know once I let go of that, it, it's it's the most it's the most relief yeah. feeling that I, that, I, that that you can have, you know. And one thing you mentioned, you know the uh, you know men to female aspect of it. We're in a like a, a hashtag Me Too era, you know, right now where scores of men are being you know outed, so to speak, for. Mostly sexual harassment, right. act, acts of sexual harassment, yeah, I've seen that. things yeah. like that. How do you think this fits into that context uh, right now? What the song? This, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, man. Like it's, it's one of those things. Like abuse in, in itself is not marginalized to just domestic violence. It's uh, yeah. also the sexual abuse. There's uh, mental abuse. There's all these things, and and just stick, sticking up. And mm-hmm. standing up and having a voice, because a lot of a lot of a lot of rapes, almost most uh, like a large percentage of rapes go un- unreported. Yeah. And 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 the person and it's crazy. It sucks because the people who who do it usually walk around feeling okay, while while this the person that it happened yeah. to is just walking around traumatized. I think it's important that to to know that your voice means something. To mm-hmm. know that you shouldn't that if it's your story, you have the right to say it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I got I got a lot of flack from industry cats too. That yeah. that, that 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 love that love my father. Yeah. I love my father that, and, and they and they want again they want to they want to fortify this incomplete perspective. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. but it's one of those things it's like, yo, like are you gonna uh, would you walk up to a to a girl that got raped or would you walk up to a kid that got beaten and tell them that you can't talk about this? Yeah. But to yeah. me I can't. You know what I'm saying? So that's what yeah. So, hey, I'm not supposed to because you, you yeah. want to make things special, but it's one of those things. It's yeah. like, yo, like, you 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 need to be able to talk about this. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm not saying you need to put it out to social media. You don't need to put it out to yourself, but you need to be able to face this. Mm-hmm. And and humans are, are communicative creatures. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We created languages, which blows my mind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. but, but like, we, we have to we have to talk about these things, and you have to, you have to let them out because if you the longer you you deny it. The more it's gonna fester inside of you. Yeah. So I think I think like right, like I, I think these people need to speak up because yeah. again, and not 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 just on the aspect that you getting over it yourself too, but you mm-hmm. have to think about the next person too. Like yeah. you know, what I'm saying you have to think about how, how many like say, say you are a rape victim, you have to think about who who's the next woman that this man's gonna attack. Yeah, you feel absolutely. Me? And, 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 yeah. and how easy he mm-hmm. thinks it is that he could do this and yeah. no one's gonna say anything. Yeah. About it. you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's important to stand up and be a voice and, and to stand like if you stand for nothing, you fall for anything. That's a yeah. common that's a common saying. We know that. Yeah. And sometimes you have to put yourself out there for mm-hmm. the greater good. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like we was talking about Colin Kaepernick earlier. Yeah, it's a great example you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying he gave up so much for what he believes and this is one of those situations where i feel like it all ties in abuse is 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 a wide spectrum and i feel like everyone needs to feel more powerful and love themselves enough to speak up you know what i'm saying it's important how is your mother and i mean yeah your mother and your sister doing how are they dealing with this oh it's um you know they're 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 proud of me for for speaking up uh you know my mother um you know they they, she she's very proud my sister's very proud um i don't like the 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 there's some flack that my mother's getting you know what i'm saying some people think uh you know um that she was like for 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 the record like my mother doesn't really like she ain't really hear the song until i was done with it like she's not really involved in my career at all like you Mm -hmm. know what i'm saying i'm about to be 24 like not saying i like you know so my mom has her own business like i I do music i'm independent i do it myself you know what i'm saying and um you you know these records too. Like I try, I try to just show her when it when, when they're finished, because mm-hmm. you know it's, it's you know it's heartfelt and like, yeah. and it was, she was touched by it. You know what I'm saying yeah. stuff like that. Um, a lot of people are thinking that she was like orchestrating certain things. But so I would say like a bit of the backlash there, like towards her. Like um, you know I, I know I know uh, she will feel it, and I and I never want people to frown upon her for it because it's like this was completely from my memories, my choice, yeah. my voice. Something that I decided to do for the sake of bettering and empowering other people that's been through this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like so she's super 
super proud of me is that because she always knew since I, since I was a little kid I always wanted to be a superhero. Yeah. And she's like, yo, baby, like you really you really trying yeah. to save the world. Like I wasn't I can't fly. Right. Yet. <laughs> I don't know how to teleport. I can't shoot laser beams, but I got I got my words. Yeah. And my voice, and I'm gonna use this to try to save the world. And she knows mm -hmm. that's my my goal. So ultimately, no matter how much heat and no matter how much like, she's super proud, and my yeah. sister's super proud. Both of my sisters and my family, my friends, like a lot everyone who knows me, right. super proud that I so. that, that I did this and I was able to um use my life to to empower others. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would say, you know, the the, the 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 biggest thing, you know, it sucks that the, the world wants to, de uh, again, like, put flack and, and do misinterpretations, not really knowing the situation, yeah, but yeah. I try to say, man, this this was this was all me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And they're just happy I'm just being myself. Now, Pun's sister, I think, at least, I don't, I really legit don't know anything about Pun's family structure or any of that. Right, I just yeah. know you guys. But she wrote, like, this long, extensive letter on all hip-hop, and I just was told about it. Right. Um, she's very upset. Do you have any... Well, at least the person that posted it is right. very upset. She said she's Pun's sister. I, I really legit don't. Okay, what's her name? Know. Uh, Nancy? Um, no, I, I gotta look at my phone. With an N? Is it, is it, is it I a, think it starts with an N. I think he has a sister named Nicole. Okay, is it yeah. Nicole? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like, um, uh, his, his whole side of the family, like, we're, we're pretty, uh, not too connected to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like they never I'm really. I'm sorry, there, that's it right there. Nicole, okay, Nikki, yeah, 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 and I've 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 heard I've heard some of the stuff, and and um I've heard some of the crazier yeah. stuff, you know, stuff with it, and it's just like um, you know, it, it sucks because um, you know, I I don't uh, I don't they don't come around, and when they did. Like it's it's one of those things. Like, and I, I don't want to bad talk anybody. You know, I'm yeah, not, yeah, I'm not yeah. saying like I, I really genuinely like I haven't read the whole thing, and I really yeah, like yeah. despite like I, I know I know there's some, I read a few things, and I know there's some really bad stuff or stuff that she said about my mother and my family and myself, and it's just like truly like I like I try to forgive immediately. Like I wish you the best. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, like we don't we don't speak. Like I, I don't I I barely know you. You know, and, yeah. and and we have blood. But you know, I barely know you. But it's one of yeah. those things. Like I I I get that you're uh, offended. I guess or, or one of these things. But it's like. Again, she's another person that's misinterpreting the message yeah. into something else and, and marginalizing mm -hmm. a, a whole human into just one idealized yeah. version. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it is what it is, and it's one of those things. It's just like, damn, like even family is gonna yeah. try to, you know what I'm saying? But 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 it's but it's okay because it's like I I try to bring clarity to every situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, like my my I, I want to expressly say that like despite what she may say or what the public may say, like I fully have forgiven and love my father to, yeah. the, to the depth of my soul and I'm proud mm -hmm. of him. Same goes for my mother, same goes for my sisters. And okay. I can't speak on anybody else because I don't really, again, I don't really know, but yeah. I know for a fact that that's the case, you know? Okay. Now let, okay, so let's just kind of back up just a little bit. Let's do I, it. For the record. I'm with it. Um, what, it. So it is nothing in the video is, depicts your home. Is that correct? Um, Like the, who who they were, like one, I had sisters. Two, like right. th this was just like, there may be subtle references, like um, like certain things, like um, if they if they specifically said, like for instance, when he kicked like the, the leg out from mm -hmm. under the kid, like that's just, like everything in the lyrics are real situations from my okay. life or like perspectives and stuff like that. Right. But like my mom wasn't, like the, the mom in the video, yeah. that she was like, uh, not the first mom, but the second mom who she mm -hmm. was like condoning it and like, like and, and kind of like, crapping on the child, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, my mom never did that. She yeah. always, she always tried to protect her. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. she, she wasn't that type of, type of uh, uh, person. Like I, I wanted to show like the, just a basic form of the cycle of abuse, how yeah. the kid could grow up in abuse and, and boom. And also the, um, also how certain parents enable it mm -hmm. and the mind state behind the abuser and how yeah. certain little things like just the, just the demoralization of it, like it's snatching the food away from the kid. Yeah. Like all the, all, all the, all these things, these are, these are, um, I would say like the act, like no, he never uh, put a peanut butter jar on my face. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like no, right. but 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 symbolically, you know, a lot of people know that feeling of feeling powerless and, yeah. and being punished for something that not even a big deal for someone to snatch your food away. You know yeah. what I'm saying? To, to to be put on a on a lesser, um, to made you feel inadequate or made you yeah. feel small or powerless. You know yeah. what I'm saying? These are all symbolic of of these key factors that that take place in an abusive home yeah. when you're a child facing right. this monumental creature. You know what I'm saying? That that mm -hmm. you have no power to defend yourself or, or your family against. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So But, but there are kids in there with black eyes and stuff. Too. Yeah. And yeah. that's that's like I was just I was like kinda like the Kermit meme, like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, you know no, what I'm because saying? these are real things that happen. Yeah. You, I can't tell you how many kids that that, that get abused and really walk around with black eyes yeah. and school and all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like and it's just like, yeah, and I we we uh, a bunch of shit happened to us. I used to walk around fucked up all the time, but it's one of those things it's just like, yo, like it's it's uh 
it, it wasn't so like again the, the lyrics came from a real place the video we was more so trying to because the lyrics were so personal to me that i didn't want to also make the because again my main point was for this to to to, to reach out to all people who are yeah, abused right. you know what i'm saying so uh, tactically speaking, you know what I'm saying, if we get behind the smoke and the mirrors and the curtains, you know what I'm saying, when, when, like, since the lyrics are so personal, we wanted the, the video to be more generalized in the sense of okay. abuse, not so also targeted so it wasn't just people who are abused in the same way that I grew up or, yeah. or just in that specific way, like I wanted it to be more so like anyone who's faced abuse. Yeah. So a lot of these things are, represent, uh, are representatives of like aspects of abuse, the feeling mm -hmm. of powerless, the like feeling right. overwhelmed, the, just the cycle of it itself. So yeah. that's what we went for, for with the video, you know okay. what I'm saying? So it may be key points that I could personally resonate and relate with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it wasn't it wasn't geared that way specifically. It was for everybody to relate to. Got you. Now, one thing I heard, well, no, it's, it's pretty common knowledge, but again, we're talking, I mean, it's been a long time. Yeah, let's get it, bro. Let's, right. let's dig, yeah. But he's, there was talk about him, you know, having the kids box or whatever, like, as, you know, yeah, to yeah. resolve conflicts and things like that. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, like, when I first heard that, I was like, in my brain, I was kind of like, oh, that's that's an interesting way to resolve things. But now, in this day and age, I'm like, oh, is that considered abuse? Like, I don't even know. It, um, it, it's, uh, it, it all depends on, like, okay, like, because you got parents that, that would never hit their kids. Yeah. And then there, there was that would for discipline. And then it's like, you could kind of tell that gray area of, like, when you kind of go too far. Yeah. Me personally, and maybe it was because I grew up in abuse, I, I feel like physically harming someone to make them do what you want to do yeah. is never really the, the yeah. way to go about it. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, But then you have kids that be wilding out in, in grocery stores mm -hmm. that might just need a pop on the mouth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because there's one of those things where you could more so instill a fear opposed to actually hurting the kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but then it's fear the right way to really go. So it's, it's really, and I'm not a parent, so I can't yeah. I can't speak on that. But but ultimately, I, I would say like by, like how I felt about it, mm -hmm. I, I hated, um, I, I love fighting. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I, I love the art of fighting. Like I, I still study martial arts a lot when on, like boxing, MMA. Mm -hmm. I, I do this on a daily basis. Like this is this is that's that I, I love to do it. Mm -hmm. um, but um, so the fight, fighting I love, but I hated. Uh, fighting against my sisters, yeah. I hated. I hated hurting them. I hated. Yeah. I, my sisters hated hurting me. We would hold it up afterward and, yeah. and cry and be like, tell each other like, yo, we like, I still love you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, did, I didn't want to hurt you, like, but yeah. we were scared. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and you know what I'm saying? That being called like, you know, while while his friends watched. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. know, I don't say any names, but like, but pe people watched and, mm -hmm. and different things. You know what I'm saying? So I, w I would say like to do it as a spectacle. Mm -hmm. and I think it's definitely wrong. Right. As a form of discipline, uh, it depends. Like, you know, training. I, I would say like when I have kids, I'm putting into, um, into training off the rip because I feel like it's very important to learn how to defend yourself. And I thank my father for that. Like, yeah. There's nothing that I've been through after he passed that's gonna trump. Like he prepared me. Like in the six years that in the six years that that I had him in my life, he prepared me for the world and the harshness of it. And I thank I thank mm -hmm. him for that. He had like a like a kind of a storm a storm uh, method of like getting us ready for the world. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I know his intentions were to make us stronger. How, yeah. it, how he went about it, it may have been you know pretty crazy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? One of those things. But I know I know his heart. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those things. But uh, definitely we didn't like we didn't like hurting each other. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. Uh, we didn't like some of the stuff. But like with you know children aren't inherently violent. Mm -hmm. So I would say that. But um. The skill aspect, learning how to fight, though, I, I never, uh, never, ne never uh, was uh, ungrateful for that. Like I, yeah. I did learn how to fight, and I'm grateful for it. And, and is that, but I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't do that. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good. I, 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 I wouldn't either. But when I was a young, not a child, not that young. Yeah. But you know, every now and then you would want to just you know, square up with somebody, but oh, it wasn't yeah. a form of punishment oh. at that point. It was us. Yeah, cause yeah. no, I, I believe in that. Cause my my, I, I don't like arguing with people. Like yeah. you, know, you, you my man's right. Yeah. So like, if, and if if we start having a heated like thing, yeah. my, my, and it got to that point where it was because I believe like we could settle this with a conversation. Yeah. Once you start getting beyond a conversation, like I don't argue with people. I say, do you want to fight? That's right. my first. <laughs> that's my first. Like, so do yeah. you want to scrap? And we could be boys after. That. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, cause my thing is like, yo, like I love fighting as an art. Like yeah. I said, it's an art. I don't like hurting people. I'm not yeah. a violent person. But sometimes I, I I get it. Like humans have this. We're still animals, and they like we yeah, yeah we have society and we work cool clothes right. and, we, and we do <laughs> intricate things but we're still animals and at yeah. the end of the day sometimes you feel like you just need to let that mm -hmm. out and, and any of my boys anybody want to fight me yo let's fight I do I fight every day against yeah. against professionals so right. I'll be careful but right. I'm telling Easy. you like it's, it's one of those things it's just like yo like I'm, I'm with it because I, I, I'm, I'm duped up with with friends and it's afterwards yeah. like, ah, it's all good like you was just yeah. a little mad at the moment like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so it happens you know and, yeah. I, and I prefer that like if you got a real problem with a, with a person like mm -hmm. let's don't don't let's not kill each other like yeah. is anything really that serious 
It's like yeah. you want to scrap the scrap. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Take take the L though. Yeah, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, Some people right. can't take yeah, the L. Right. I have people. I have people. I, I'm taking yeah. L. Like I have. Had, I've had people who I washed. Yeah. And they want to. And they want to come back with with with, <laughs> with, with mad heads. And I'm right. just like, bro, like yeah. take the L. Yeah, right. Like take, take it. That. You know what I'm saying? Like try to yeah. like, like you know what I'm saying? Like the yeah. But but it is. I, I believe like I, I would love it if people went back to yeah. to that uh, uh, yeah. on on a scale of. Uh, are opposed to gun violence. Yeah, you know absolutely. what I'm saying? In the ideal world, I yeah. would love that people could talk it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, yeah. it's just like, yo, most things are just misunderstandings and perspective yeah. differences. Like, you're a whole other person, but like, you don't need to agree with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and I still love you to death. You don't yeah. have to agree with everything. I, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Let's keep it pushing. But that's it is my, what it is. That's one of my favorite pun songs, too. Let's go toe to toe. Any stupid yeah, ass. Yeah, can blast the phone. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, any, yeah, anybody could do that, but let, yeah. let's scrap. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, let, let's do that. And if we both leave a little stronger, a little, little more wise, mm -hmm. we learn from it. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. If you want the rematch, train. Like, you know what I'm saying? I do think that's what, 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 what the world is missing right now. Yeah, that, that, that little that honor. little yeah, that, that sense little, of honor, right? Yeah. And even if you lost, a lot of times that's a win. If you like, if you lost but you fought valiantly, yo, yo, I, I, you can walk away. I was like, in first grade. I had a fight. I mean, this, this is gonna sound like, oh, but I was in first grade having to fight a fourth grader. That don't sound crazy, but right. that, that is, is that crazy. Is the, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And 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 he gave me respect that like I scrapped that I got washed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a way bigger kid than me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I but I had mad heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He respected me afterwards for it. Same same day I got jumped. Yeah. By a bunch of because they was gonna rob a uh, they were gonna rob a little uh, kid on the bus yeah. and I stopped I stopped these uh, like thirteen dudes from it was like between thirteen and fifteen dudes from stop and and they wanted to jump me afterwards for it and I'll do it again a thousand times because I'm yeah. not about to let a little kid get robbed right. you know what I'm saying but they respected like, I had to press them the next day because they went to my school and stuff mm -hmm. but like they was like yo like I, I really scrapped like I was not afraid I'm like yeah. I'm, I'm ready I'm ready because I again I grew up homeless I grew up in a shelter you know how many yeah. times I had to not you know you, like you know that feeling when you're walking down the block at night. And mm -hmm. it's, it's dark, and you see a group of, group yeah. of rowdy fellas, and they coming Absolutely. up to you, and you're like, damn, like, I can't even cross the street. You, you know what I'm saying? Because I got, because I'm like, yo, I, I I just moved to this shelter. Yeah. And they probably live in this area, and if I'm known as that little punk ass that crossed the street, yeah. they're gonna tell me, yo, I I I I'm gonna get my ass kicked, but I'm gonna earn this. Like, <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? So like, just yeah. to know that fight, and, and and again, like, I'm thankful. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That yeah. that I that I learned not only how to fight, how to defend myself, but learn how to have heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a big thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I feel like people need to have that honor back because you got kids walking around with no no sense of code and no sense mm -hmm. of. Uh, no sense of self and anything yeah. goes. Right. When anything goes, that's when it gets kind of crazy and yeah. scary. You know what I'm saying? There's no system. like. But I, I prefer if people really, you know, if okay. you had to fight, duke it out. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, for sure. And live for another sure. day to tell it. So what's next for you? Like, I mean, you you seem to be doing well, but you're independent. So yeah. I already know the hustle. Or at least I think it's, I know the hustle because I'm independent too. It's so. wildly vigorous hustle. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, man, like, right, we got the, uh, the album out, DeLorean. That's the, mm -hmm. the Fear of My Crown is on that album. Right. We're pushing it. We're showing a lot of videos. That was one of them off Absolutely. of it. We're showing a lot of videos for that. We're gearing up uh, different, you know, promo stuff as well. Uh, mm -hmm. We're working on various projects uh, at the same time, like on my next solo one, but also stuff with uh, select artists and select DJs, Buck okay. Wild Static, people like no that. Like, and it, it's dope. And uh, yeah, just gearing up and, uh, you know, rebranding everything, mm -hmm. getting the social media right, getting everything right. And just uh, just moving forward, making sure the quality is high. Same thing we were talking about, making sure yeah. the quality is at a at a high yeah. point, and just and just making moves. You know, staying super consistent, yeah. and not only that, but grinding. Like you know, lo losing like sleep is on on the backest of the back burners. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And really just you just seeing how much I could do, not only for myself in this, but for the world. How could how could uh, you know? If I close my eyes, I see myself as a blip in the world, and I see myself with a sphere of influence. You know what I'm saying? And how could I how could I you know maneuver myself in a way to influence the perspective of myself yeah. to to gear my Myself up into those right, you know, demographics mm -hmm. and things. So just know the subtle nuances of it. I've been reading a lot, you yeah. know, expanding, having conversations with people, and just uh, just growing, not not just as a rapper, but as an artist and as a human, mm -hmm. and just pushing the the brand to the next level. So yeah. we got a lot of a lot of visuals coming, a lot of dope music coming, and mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of just boosted stuff, lifestyle things, and uh, just just going the extra mile with it, my okay. brother. Yeah. Don't forget all hip hop, man. We Never here. forget it. Yeah. It's always hip hop. All yeah, right, yeah, that's yeah, what's yeah. up, yo, yo. Thank you, really. Thank appreciate you. you. I, I appreciate you, yeah, my brother. Definitely, real, man. definitely. Love. I've been dolo like my dolo and these hoes know, but still never fell off like that nigga on the polo, feeling holier than thou. Like I'm trying to be the ozone, only one on my level rolling solo like Han Solo, no Chewbacca who could chalk up to this outline. See homicide, slept on cops outside, survived for months on only dollar fries. Drank from hydras when it's hot outside, bathed in hydras when the landlord say you can't be clean until I get my green, but nigga, I'll decide. Huddled up then hustle bucks, doubled up like double dutch, cut the dutch right down the middle, chuck the guts, loves a must and you can smell me, but don't tell me that you coming. I know niggas that ain't porn st
love the bust. Better trust that bubbled up, so blow it out your ass and you got bubble guts to fuck us up. Niggas act like bars and calisthenics, got my muscles up. All I see is food, cook the muscles up. Don't beat around the bush, I brought the thunder, you'll get rustled up. I ain't just trying to be rich, I'm trying to elevate and elevate. It's pissed off at sticky walls, it's probably pissed. Cause it said I ain't shit, but hope you proud of me, Chris. So I gotta body this shit, like arm, leg, a leg, a arm, head, peep my anatomy. God like, like I've been rapping with Vatican's Alabang. Stayed above y'all niggas, took the light just like a can of beef. Always knew I can, how many cans can I be? Well, can I see? Puerto Rican, skin type like butter pecan. Never been firework for me, and I ain't canning me. Blazing cannabis, became the man and did it candidly. Y'all all drug dealers, niggas worry about who got the chemo. Sound of cancery, panicking, searching for purpose, hoping I persevere. Niggas acting like this is rappers, but there's a person here. No burden in the birds, then cooped up and they just slurping. Still a little ignorant in my bag, like purses here. It's rivers. Yeah. Dope, dope. Cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, sure.